welcome to another episode of Crusader Kings 3 as we play as the Empire of Benin. Looking at the big map, looks like England's had some issues. There have been some people who've split off, primarily York it looks like. Frisia has formed from something here. I forget what that was called. I see Venice kind of popping up here. Byzantines look like they might have expanded a bit. Uh, the Arabian Empire is back to being at the Abbasids. Looks like they've actually conquered some of their territory back from Egypt. And speaking of Egypt, they've kind of gotten eaten a bit. Or maybe it's another secession thing. Because there's uh, Cosmid. But they're Catholic as well, but they're a different culture. So, I'm not entirely sure what's what's up with that. But Egypt is certainly not as big as they used to be. And we have, ooh, I'm not, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. The Galapo of ooh, er, ooh. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce a U with umlauts, and with that being the only thing. So. Anyway, they're a thing. Also, there's still a lot of sin in India. So, my thought process here is I would still like the Duchy of Ife. That would give me three holdings. I'd actually max up my holdings. And I'd like to pass them on to my heir. Now that leaves four, now this person's not inheriting anything, so that would leave, at least currently, so we don't have any more kids. We're in our 40s, so probably not, but you never know. Um, four kids uh, that are left hanging. So again, I think my strategy here... Um, would be to grant them um, land. Well, disown them and then grant them land. So that they're not unhappy with me, but they're also not inheriting anything. And that way my son can preferably get everything. Um, there are a couple wars that I can do, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, um, uh, fabricate claims like crazy here. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is try to fabricate claims on Ife again. Hopefully we get the whole duchy, and if we don't, then, well, I might be able to actually, uh, I might be able to just claim this title. Yeah. That way I might be able to just take it. I think that's going to be easier. I won't quite do that yet. But now that means I can do the fabricate claim somewhere else. Like here. Where we don't even have a claim at all. Also, since we're a sinner, we can't do any holy wars. Not even, not even for counties. So, that's an issue. Um, we'll eventually want to... I guess, increase our relation with leader of Ghana, at least until it becomes our husband. Um, because, um, I'd like to attack Lobi, but they're allied with Ghana. And given their opinion of us, they are probably not going to join us in an offensive war. So, um, there's that. So, probably in the meantime, 
Uh, also, there's this person where uh, they're actually only one away from becoming a vassal. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to check on that. Well, we'll pop up if it, if it becomes an option, but, uh, we may try to sway her. We'll have to see who we want to sway next after this. But I think... Yeah, so there's someone here that we can just attack du jour. Which, this princess would get the... I think she would just straight up get the title. Which is not ideal, but... Um, works, I guess. So I suppose that's something that we can kind of do in the meantime. One thing we should consider doing once we have money is also increasing our minute arms. Because we can't upgrade them. I'm hoping all of these can be done in the next 20 years or so uh, before we die. We are still gaining money, which is good. We had this mental break. Again, I think we'll just have to take, we'll just have to eat the stress here. Hopefully we can have a feast or two, either invite, get invited to one or we should be able to hold one as well. That will reduce our stress. Uh, gluttonous is not great. Luckily, she's not our heir. I guess we'll just keep it because we don't want to eat the stress. That's a good reason to not be... So did they? Oh, they invited a couple of allies here, didn't they? Oh, he wasn't swayed. That's unfortunate. Means we'll have to waste another round. I don't know if we really need to call anyone in. Yet. <laughs> uh, so he finished Promote Culture. So I'm guessing... I probably don't need to do that anywhere. Not in our any, any of our current existing ones. So... Yeah, let's put him in Collect Taxes. So... Money. Uh, 
Oh, my daughter, daughter has typhus. Guess do no more than what is necessary? Reduce disease symptoms? Alright. Man, we haven't... Alright, my son's come of age. Okay, so he's betrothed already. Oh, she recovered. Awesome. Uh, so this is my... Yeah, so this is the... Unpr this is getting the claim. So, yes. So, we have a claim here. How about here? No. So, I think that's next. Let's try to attack them before they get that done, if possible. Nothing else. Maybe we can drive them off. Right, I can't really imprison people because I'm compassionate. Can ransom someone... Which I guess I might as well do, because I can't execute them without getting stress. Did I get more stress from something? Oh, nice. Ah, it was swayed. So let's... Is there someone else? The only one of my uh, counselors, which isn't above 50, is her. What I might do... Is try to... S oh, we can't because she's a child. How much longer? Four years. Okay, fine. Um, I guess we'll sway her. While I was at the market, her attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. Watched him for a while when, when he did nothing but cough and beg for water. Rolled her eyes and kept walking. I mean, I guess. That does give her intrigue, which is what she's being trained for. Bruh. And, oh, 30% chance of getting wounded. It looks like I at least didn't get wounded. Like, oh, they're way over there.
I guess we'll head over there. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Someone is plotting to kill my guest. Alright. Finished increased control. I think that was the last place that needed to happen. So let's train commanders. Guess we can increase the speed while we're trying to move over there. I'll know where he's going. Oh, God. Really? First time it happened, I barely gave it a moment's thought, but my vassal has grown bolder. Her challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. She's testing my limits, unless I give her a taste of her own medicine. So I can mock her, which will be guaranteed 20 stress. I could get a weak hook, or they could lose opinion of me. All of these are a guaranteed 20 stress, because reasons, I guess. Have tasks which are impossible to complete. So, okay, so all of these are basically the same except this. I gain 12 dread. I, I get stress from all of these because I'm compassionate. Excellent. I gained the trait Irritable, which is actually kind of bad because of the minus diplomacy. I almost feel like I have to, though. I've prowled through documents, both ancient... Oh, right, yeah. So, let's do this. Wow, she's doing that fast. Well, let's do this, I guess. Just do... Do them as much as we can. Excellent. So where are they? Down there, okay. I mean, we're eventually... I'm not a sinner anymore, at least. Okay, is there anything... I guess I'm doing a preparation to do more stuff here. Like, what duchy is this part of? Okay, it's a duchy with all of that stuff. So we'll eventually need to usurp or... Or, uh... Whatever. All right, so I guess continue. So where are, where are their armies? That's a very good question. I, I assume they're probably just down here somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I 
Let's head there first. My daughter comes of age. I'll worry about your marriage later. Betrothal. Oh, maybe she was already betrothed. She must have been. Why were you betrothed to him? I should really check these betrothals. Is any, are any of my other children betrothed? Spouse? No, they're not. Okay. I'm like... I don't remember. These must have been set up before. Alright. I guess we'll name him that. Oh, here, okay. There is their army. Neighbor can be vassal. Ah. So I didn't have to sway her anyway. So this is her, I believe. Someone else can be vassalized. They're so close to doing normal feudal obligations, I'm kind of... I kind of want to... Uh, who's their heir? They're gonna... He's gonna... He's just going to take over that county uh, when she dies. So there's kind of no point in vassalizing her just to lose that county again. Alright, so we are going to have to to try to avoid attrition Perhaps try to... Hey, I have a diplomacy perk. Alright. Let's see what tree we want to go down. So, opinion from Sin Gift. Title creation cost. So, I don't know if... Fellow Vassal Opinion... Like, if... if like, that sounds like it would be something... Like, I don't know if that includes vassals under me. Forest vassalage could be interesting. Each alliance gains plus one diplomacy. That might be good. Increased speed on fabricate claim, but that's kind of way down there. Diplomat gives me added diplomacy. So this would... This tree would kind of improve my stats for diplomacy, which might be good. Sway scheme power, that would be good. Offer vassalization acceptance plus 25. That would actually not be that bad either. This is less useful than the diplomat, I think. The friend scheme, I should use that more often. Children receive one to three extra skill points. That's not too bad. Each friend adds minus 5 stress. Close family opinion plus 15. Again, befriend scheme power. Personal scheme success against family. Each friend relations give me two random skill points. Each living child gives me one random skill point. I think I'm going to go down diplomat first. I think Family Hierarch is still better than August, but uh, we'll start here. I, I'll be surprised if we get done with more than one branch, if even that. Because this isn't even the the trait that we're trained, educated in, so...
We've almost won this just from controlling the war target. Or are they coming after me again? They are. When will they get here? Does it say? You can try moving up here. I prefer not to fight them with their defensive buildings. Oh, they're just about here, so it's gonna happen regardless of what we want. We're still gonna win. This may just straight up end it here. I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of these two people, two couriers talking to each other. They're talking about my steward. So... I might actually do this just to increase his opinion. I obviously don't want to do the stress, even though it would give me dread. Okay. Is this still the same neighbor? It is. Okay. My son can get married. He's also a witch. Now he's founded his own dynasty. So preferably I'd want someone him to marry someone in our dynasty. Doesn't even have to be our house, but Not a lot of uh, alliances we can get, but if we can even get some, that would be good. Yeah. So this dynasty, or uh, her house, is still in our dynasty. So it's not our house. Guess. Is there anyone of our house? There is. Uh, and there wouldn't be inbred, so that's even better, I guess. Um, one thing we could do... We, okay, we need, like, one or two more months of money here. To finally build the castle here. What happened? Oh, I've been overwhelmed by stress again. Because why not? Uh, let's do the diplomacy here. Both because... We just did someone with intrigue, and also, I don't want to be anyone's ward anymore. It's too much stress possible. So I think we'll do, well, she is about to die, isn't she? So I guess we could do this. The more I study the noble art of statecraft, the more I realize how beneficial good relations with my neighbors are. I ought to have one of them visit my court so that I can show them just how good a friend can be. 
So... We could do this guy. Who has a duchy and 1,200 men. This guy who has a duchy and 1,400 men. Or let's do this guy. <laughs> so he will arrive shortly. Uh, ah, oh shit. Do we have any prisoners? We do. Guess we can demand conversion. That's about the best we can do there. What type of... I didn't actually mean to have her do something. What type of claim do we have here, if any? Uh, someone else's claim, which is not... I want it to be my claim. <laughs> so let's... Let's work on that. The Serene Petty King is finally here. Tonight, we will have a feast to welcome our foreign guests. My husband has been hard at work with all the planning and preparations. He has asked me if I have any suggestions for the final touches. I know a few specialities from 55% chance he feels right at home. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that. I lose 75 gold. But he can appreciate the Jed gesture like most people court visit progresses well petty king would have preferred something simpler so he's calm shy and paranoid yeah i don't maybe not let's just say normal If the sky is to be trusted, it seems like we will have lovely weather today. I have an excellent opportunity to show my guests the beauty of the local country. I wonder if he would like a vigorous hunting trip. Well, he is. He does have. He is Marshall. So I'm going to assume yes. Yes. I'd like to show my guests the cultural highlights of Benin. The question is, would he prefer a grand dance or a visit to our finest temple? Uh, he is shy. So, I'm not sure how much he would like a big dance. He enjoys visiting the temple. Nice. During our walk through the gardens, he and I have paused to admire the view, the portions, the colors. I've seen a few things as beautiful as this. He says in gestures to the site before us. I feel as if I ought to say something kind in return. Perhaps something about his relentless courage. I mean, he is skilled tactician. Loyalty and sense of humor. Mm. Clear rationality, energy, and spontaneity. I think I'm gonna do courage. Oh no, I came across as an insult. Sun is risen, I notice one of his servants carrying a large chest. I follow the man to the courtyard, or I find my guest overseeing the loading of his carriages. He, uh,. Startles when I greet him and proceeds to make a vague excuse about a letter and some urgent business. Awkwardly, I wish him a safe journey and scamper back. Uh. It all went good until the end, and that kind of fucked the whole thing up. Sigh.
Who's this guy? Uh, he's a somewhat good fighter. We should recruit these people to court. Probably. Who's our lowest rated champion? A nine? Uh, I'm not paying 115. Seven's fine. Yeah, I mean, our lowest champion's a 9, so... And he's a 10. And he's going to be losing prestige pretty quickly. So I actually don't think so. We do have a powerful... A dangerous faction. Wants lower crown authority. I guess the first thing again, can we negotiate alliance with any of these? like the answer is no. Do we have anyone we can marry off? Daughter, daughter, daughter. Three daughters. There's no one that can be married to there. Ditto there. So we're already kind of in bad shape. <laughs> Another daughter. She's betrothed already anyway. Granddaughter. It looks a little like a... Uh, all right. We might have to lower our crown authority. We'll have to see. I don't really want to waste time in another big war if I can help it. Alliance with someone over here expired. No longer married or betrothed? Oh, she died. Okay. So I guess our son can get married again. There's someone who has robust. They'd have the most alliance power. She's older though. We could get someone who's a giant. Giant's not terrible. Maybe we will. They're related, really? <laughs> like exactly how? Oh, right. He's the one. Right. Wait. I thought this marriage, I thought those kids should have been, 
Ah. That's right, because he's the one who's a... Wait. Yeah, he's a bastard, but he made his own house. Did I not properly do that? Huh. Does our heir have any kids yet? They do. Right. Okay, yeah. Did he get any? No. Oh, okay, he got beautiful. Huh? I mean, okay. See, he's rowdy. Let's do the martial... We've had a lot of people doing intrigue. <laughs> well, I don't necessarily want to be the one educating. <laughs> I'm trying to find someone who might be good with a lot of learning who's not like I guess we can wait we might find someone who's a, someone better to appoint as his ward uh, before then okay They do have an alliance. But it shouldn't really be an issue, I don't think. So we would get this county. They already have men raised over here. Servant of Oya. So I opened my eyes in the dark. Right. So this is someone inviting me to become a witch, basically, which we are not going to do because we're zealous and it would give us a freaking hundred stress. <laughs> when can we do a feast again? We can call a hunt. Like a year. Actually, like, three months. We apparently don't have a court physician. And you would actually, you would be, you would make a good physician, yeah. 45's not horrible. Now I didn't, uh... You, wasn't it? I didn't even notice she was 66. She's probably gonna die, like, immediately. <laughs> We're already at 88 war score. Oh, we captured the air. That would be a good reason why. Well, that was fast and easy.
So, what I might do here... Huh. So why... Oh, because she's... A bastard. So what I might do here... Uh, the county of... Kanem. Okay. So what I might do here is I might disinherit him, but then just grant them all of this. Release your anger. I get stress from this as well, which is awesome. But I kind of feel like I need to. Okay, grant titles. You get all of this, you'll be really happy with me. Is there someone I can, like, release my anger on, which is, you know... Do I have, like, a rival? No. Uh... Hmm. Is there someone in court I can maybe, uh... Can I release anger on, like, a guest? I can! Oh, wait. There's a victor? Victor loses stress, the loser gains stress. So I don't know what... Like, uh... What that does. Single combat. So this creates a duel. At least my prestige is better. I mean, I obviously don't want to... Oh, God. Even this! I can hardly use to relieve stress. I try a few perfunctory quick slashes, focusing mostly on trying not to lose my sword. Nothing even really gets close to my foe. I manage to swing a vicious kick for my shin, momentarily hobbling me. My form is deteriorating fast in numerous exploitable gaps. Nakbar's stance is failing. Well, let's do the one that... I do a headbutt. Try to do one that doesn't give me... Uh, stress. And I lost. So I'm wounded. Did I just get more stress from that? God fucking damn it. My god! So I lost a level of fame. That's probably better than becoming a lunatic. OK, 
Okay, let's call a hunt, and hopefully we don't gain more stress than we lose. Being compassionate while being stressed is horrible. Because there's like nothing you can do. Because you're just as likely to gain stress as lose it. I'm riding ahead of the group in the, as the jungle is lying. Just as I'm about to turn back, I find the others. Like, oh, great. A heart. White as snow. So I can do focus attention, attention, which I actually almost feel like doing. Like, fuck this heart. Especially with the stress I have. Alright, so I at least lost that stress. I can host a feast, which loses me even more stress. So let's do that. Now I'm down to level 1 stress. Yeah. I probably, yeah, I probably should. The wine's gone. So I can lose money, gain thought thirst, which gives me prestige. Every guest gains opinion. Or I, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do this. Gain money. <laughs> and neither causes me costs me stress. My daughter slaps me on the back. I mean it. I'll do anything you ask of me. So I can either get a favor from her, or she gains opinion. I guess I can get a weak hook. Oba approaches me at a great table. It's a marvelous feast. All my compliments to the host. I will let my husband get the credit. And my guests apart. And I get eager reveler, which means I should reduce more stress by holding and going to feasts. <sighs> the stress. Swear. Okay, we swayed them. Let's sway our shaman again because, like, we could we could use more there. We can ransom this person. Might as well do that. Can negotiate an alliance with right my son. Let's do that. Maybe we should try pulling this now. Oh right. I need limited crown authority to revoke. Uh. Oh, I can already pass this? I'm actually kind of surprised. Only a 32% chance of accepting. So, let's actually... Uh, I guess we can try to sway our... Sway him a little bit. Just to try to get a bit more money. How old are we? We have maybe 10 years. We're wounded too. And we have aggravated wound too. Hopefully that goes away. Because that's going to shorten our lifespan as well.
daughter became of age. Uh, sure. You might want to sway you. Callous, gluttonous, and zealous. What a combination. So she can inherit. So who are our most powerful vassals and can we get an alliance with them? They'll need a son that's not a son or brother who's not married. Or who's not married themselves. Who the hell is their heir? Why is this their heir? I'm actually not sure why that's their heir. Doesn't seem related to her at all. That's weird. Um, three is kind of young. I was hoping for someone a bit older than that. They're already betrothed, unfortunately. I wonder if one can... No. I was like, can we like sneak in on that? But the answer appears to be no. Wait, who is it that needed to be married? You know what? I'm an idiot. Because it's my daughter. So we need a guy, not a girl. God damn it. I am a flipping moron. So she has a sibling. See if I can set this up from her side. Just so I can see if it actually gives us that alliance or not. It doesn't look like it. Does she have anything that's... Huh. Usually, like, marrying a brother will, uh... Someone's brother will... Oh, we can become... Oh, I, I don't know about that. With that age. Usually marrying someone's brother will, uh...
give you an alliance, but... Apparently not there. It's kind of weird, actually. Maybe they're only like a half sibling? I don't know. Again, they're all betrothed. So that's a daughter, so that doesn't really help. I prefer someone who is older. Well, I think the easiest thing to do now is to just try to do it through this interface. Um, can we... At least limit it to someone in our realm? Rule... no? Doesn't look like it. I mean, we could narrow it to our culture or religion. But, uh... They're independent. So are they. So are they. County. I mean, I'm not sure we're going to get any better than a county. Well, here's a duchy. But again, they're independent. Well, okay. For, so, as far as these guys... Um, where are they? Oh, they're over there. I guess that's fine for now. Um, okay. Why is this huh. says we have a claim on this county? I'm not sure. Like, what's the difference between? Okay, so, okay, so that means, okay, got it. That means we do have a claim. All the rest of these means we don't, I guess. It's held by me. Okay. So let's, we already, okay, we're already doing that now. Me confused. All right, so we've been going for about an hour, so I think that's where we will leave off this episode. Um, 
This stuff isn't progressing as fast as I was hoping it would. Um, which is somewhat unfortunate. I'd like to get this guy up to 50%, then we really need to start swaying uh, the person who controls this other duchy so that um, we can take it to her without, you know, shit going down, which would be preferable. Um, so, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you here next time on Crusader Kings 3.